What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we're going to take a look at the Method 2 saddle by Latitude Outdoors and all their rope gear. So stay tuned because deer seasons are right around the corner and this might be the gear for you. So today we are going to unbox and take a look at the Method 2 saddle and a bunch of other gear from Latitude Outdoors. Um, this is necessarily a new saddle. I believe they came out with this version of it last fall. And so there's a lot of other uh, reviews online, but I'm going to take a look at it from somebody who's new to Latitude. Uh, and also, you know, take out, again, some of that intimidation factor for some of you in the... Uh, the older crowd, again, I'm over 50. I've done several videos on saddle hunting for us quote unquote older guys trying to help take some of the intimidation out of the saddle hunting world for you. So um, full disclosure on this product, I have no current affiliation with Latitude Outdoors. I've met a couple of the guys. Um, I did not pay for any of the gear in here, but I was not asked to do a review about it and it wasn't given to me to do a review. I actually entered a film a couple weeks ago into the film festival at the Mobile Hunters Expo in Southern Ohio. I was blessed enough to win the feature film uh, in the self-filming category and as a prize, I got a Latitude setup. Uh, it's kind of interesting, before I won it, I'd actually bought their, I pre-ordered their X-Wing platform and checked it out uh, there at the show. Um, but I've not got it to have anything in this. Uh, so anyway, so they gave it to me as a prize for winning the uh, film contest, which they sponsored. So I thought, hey, I'm sure these guys have got a lot of questions about this product. So let's do a review on it. I've really not gone through it. I opened it up and just kind of saw what was in it initially. But I want to save uh, it for a video. So it sat here, you know, on my desk, not getting touched for the last couple of weeks. So let's dive into this thing. All right. So to start out with. Uh, I'm a sucker for cool packaging, and uh, this comes in a box that, quite frankly, is pretty cool with all the topo lines on it. Um, it kind of gives you, feels like that iPhone opening experience uh, type of thing, you know. Um, just very nice. It's it's always nice to see a company actually spend money on packaging, even though I know it's a cardboard box and beyond opening this, it'll get thrown in the trash or used to store you know, something in your storage room or whatever, but it's kind of cool. I am going to flash up the retail pricing of each item on the screen as I do this. So right off the bat, uh, this is their Method 2 saddle. Now I did take this out once when I first got it just to check it out. Um, but this is basically is a two panel saddle. saddle. This is their regular size. Um, when we get out and I'll show you this on and we'll go out to a tree and check it out here in a little bit, but I'm about six foot tall, weigh about 205 to 210 pounds, depending on the day of the week, how many beers or hamburgers I've had. Uh, and this is the regular size. They also have an XL, but this is kind of cool. One of the features, um, of this I notice is being two panel expands and it's held together with magnets, which is super, super cool. Um, and I don't know if anybody else in the saddle industry uses that. Uh, I know the two panel that I currently have uh, made by another company, uh, it doesn't have that. It uses retractable straps. So that's pretty cool. Amsteel bridge and a rope belt. Never tested that out. I'm kind of curious. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm used to the security of a buckle. So this will be interesting. And then leg loops. Uh, these don't come attached to it. I put them on when I checked it out, you know, when I first got it. I mean, I was like a kid. I got to check this thing out. Um, but I haven't done anything in the field with it. It's literally sat in the box. So uh, Molly attachments, you know, for your dump pouches and everything. Uh, here's uh, obviously for your lineman loop attachment. Thumb straps, as I understand, to pull the magnetic uh, uh, or the, the under seat apart magnetically. So we're going to get this on in just a bit and check it out, but I got to check out what else is in this box. So as I dig down here in the box, the next thing in here is I got a uh, tether and a linesman rope here. Set the box aside. 
Now, as I, these are the eight millimeters, and as I understand it, this is a new product for the for them. Uh, I believe they had tens before, uh, and from what I see on their website here, these are called their vapor lines, or eight millimeter mil, eight millimeter blah, 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 tongue twister. Um, they have an Amsteel core in them, from what I understand. Um, so let's open these up. Let's check one of these out. Uh, they look like they're the same with just color difference, which is nice, uh, you know, in the field to be accustomed to. In this case, one's like a dark black with speckles and others are gray. And just, I don't think it matters which you use uh, for your tether versus your lineman, even though the, this one here says it's for the tether. But visually, that color reference, you know, when you're checking is, is kind of nice. So um, these look to be, I don't know if it says the length on them. I would guess around, looks like eight foot or so long. It comes with a carabiner. Uh, a Prusik and a Tender, which is very nice. The carabiners are Black Diamond. Black Diamond is an awesome uh, climbing rated product. I know uh, before I was saddle hunting, I was using rock climbing harnesses in a regular tree stand setup and uh, I had all Black Diamond stuff. So I know it's really good quality stuff. Um, threaded barrel lock, uh, just all looks really nice. They got their branding and logo here on the, uh, the little sleeve. Um, that show, oh, and it, so it looks like, uh, it's got the weight rating in there. Um, oh, it even has a data manufacturer on here. So that's kind of cool. So they can keep track of the lot numbers and all that. Again, the, uh, linesman belt one is, uh, black, but it looks essentially the same. So there's more goodies in here. Let's take a look at them. So next up, I got two dump pouches that they threw in this. Uh, one is the classic dump pouch. The other is the method dump pouch. Uh, the method, just looking at it, looks to be a lot deeper. Uh, they look like they're roughly the same diameter. Maybe the classic's wider at the top, narrower at the bottom. Um, these have the, uh, I'm not sure what you call the little um, clip, uh, but it's the square rectangular clip that uh, you can stuff through the mollies on the sides or back of your uh, saddle and you can hold all your gear. Um, it's not structured, it's just it's it's just one of these that, I mean right now it's kind of rigid because it's been a pack, um, that's, but it will collapse, it looks like any direction. Uh, it's got a closure on it which is kind of nice to make sure things don't dump out. It's ventilated so if things would get damp or whatever they can breathe and dry out. Um, you can also kind of partially see through, you know, um, but this is cool. They get the smaller one and then again, this bigger one, I'm not sure what all, you know, how much we can fit in each. I guess we'll check that out in the field here shortly. Um, the deeper one, pretty much the same thing, although it, do, although it does have a little zipper pouch here on the, uh, on the front. Um, I mean, actually it's a fairly good size. You probably fit a smartphone in there drop your release in there, uh, wind checker, you know, uh, just little bits and pieces, tag, you know, maybe a tag, just little things you might you might have, who knows. And then they've, they've got this little attachment here uh, that you could clip a small carabiner on or, you know, hang something off of or whatever. So looks pretty slick. Again, it's not structured, it'll collapse. Uh, it is bellowed, so it looks like it opens up much much wider than, than what it appears when it's laying here. So, um, yeah, we'll have to check it out and see, it, you know, looks very well made. And the last thing uh, really in here besides a decal, I did get a cool little decal here, is their gear hanger. This is public land legal. Hang your bow and backpack calls more. I've used uh, similar products um, by other companies. Um, looks like, get it open here. It's your webbing type of strap system that you can throw up around the tree. Uh, probably, I would imagine, go around the tree. They've got a nice buckle here, one of these G-buckle things with a closer on it. Um, oh, the loops are all adjustable, so you can position these wherever you want. Set for the diameter of your tree. Um, it's like an adjustable strap here. I think I saw something online about maybe uh, being able to hang a carabiner on this for a backpack or something like that. I don't know. I've not really played with 
Well, I've never played with this, so uh, I did see a video uh, on it, though. There's another loop here you can hang stuff from. So, pretty simple, looks slick, looks like a lot of adjustability. Um, we'll have to see, you know? I mean, heck, it's a gear hanger, you know? I mean, it looks pretty cool. So, anyways, so that's all the gear that was in this box. All right, so real quick before we go outside and check all this stuff out is, again, the Method 2 saddle in the regular size, um, the tether, and, or linesman tether, I guess it doesn't matter, but one's black, one's gray. In the eight millimeter, I believe it was, I said it was the vapor, is what they call this rope. It's an AM steel core, pretty cool. The gear hanger, the large dump pouch, and the, uh, the Method dump, dump pouch, and then the classic dump pouch, and a decal for a grand total retail value of, because I'm not gonna do the math right now on live. So anyways, so yeah, so I won all this stuff, um, pretty cool. I wanna thank Latitude Outdoors for sponsoring that film festival and thank all the guys uh, from the Mobile Hunter Expo that put on that whole event. Just awesome event. Man, you need to next year get out to one of their events because it is cool because there are just a ton of saddle and mobile hunting companies there. The guys work their butts off and everything. It's really cool. It's a fun environment. Uh, but enough about that. So let's go out and mess around on a tree with this stuff, and then I'll give you my thoughts out there. All right, so I came out here in the field to show you this Latitude Method 2 setup. Um, I set this up pretty much the way I would saddle hunt, except I left my uh, bow hoist off the one side that I normally would have, um, just simply because I didn't want to clutter it up too much. But as you can see, I actually have some kydex, kydex clips on here. These are some Eastern Woods Outdoors ones, but there's a lot of companies that make them. And I've got my uh, climbing sticks sitting here hanging off of them. So I really like that with these uh, molly loops right here. I can get those on, and these are right here at my side. I also have one on the back here that I would normally hang whatever uh, platform I'm using on. Uh, typically on my platforms, I just use a little paracord loop and hook on here. And so that's no problem at all. None of it gets in the way with the uh, magnetic um, back panel, which we're gonna be walking in the woods and climbing, that's gonna be in the up position anyway. So I just wanted to show you that kind of loaded down here. Um, I do have the leg straps on this. I've got them fairly loose. And, uh, you know, obviously here's my bridge, which walking in, you know, I could tuck this completely away and I could tuck the, the ropes down in between my belt and, and pants or whatever. But for right now, I'm, you know, doing this like we're just here at the tree. Uh, for me, I've got my tether here. I always daisy chain, I mean, my linesman belt. I always daisy chain it off to my side. I don't like keeping it, uh, in a dump pouch, um, but in my dump pouch, I've got their gear hanger, and I also have my uh, tether rope in here. So this, again, is pretty much you know how, how it comes. This is the bigger of the two pouches. I don't know, I might actually prefer the small one, but I thought I'd throw this on here. I do like the little zipper pocket here that I can put carabiners or bow hooks or whatever in. So I'm gonna show you this up on a tree, and we're gonna take a look at it and talk about how comfortable it is and, uh, and all that. So here we go. All right, so here we are. We've got up into the platform. Um, I've got obviously the Latitude, their eight millimeter um, vapor line as my uh, linesman belt on me. It's very comfortable. Obviously I'm only three or so feet off the ground, but it's very comfortable the way, like if you were climbing with this right now, the way it sits on my hips is incredibly comfortable. Obviously, you're not deploying um, the two second panel when you're doing this, so this would be just getting set up, basically. Um, their dump pouch, again, I've gotten the first molly, my little hanger, so I got their dump pouch uh, two back, and it's right here, it's accessible, it's no big deal. They got their little draw cord here. Um, and so we got, you know, the tether, and. You know, I'm used to using mechanical, uh, like the Ropeman and uh, the Kong ducks and stuff on my, on my tethers, but uh, this is how they send it. So I'm interested to try it this way with the Prusik and the, and the tender on it. Um, I typically like to girth mine. So we'll throw this around here. I just find if I girth it, a lot of times it locks onto 
the tree better. It does make it a little bit more of a pain in the butt to get it off there, but, and I usually like to keep it, I don't know, nose, eye, eyebrow height, somewhere in that range, typically. So, again, this is the first time I've used their system at all. So this is all very new to me. Um, again, we got the, the black diamond carabiners. Now we're on our tether here on the M steel bridge. You can adjust this bridge for different lengths. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my tether, or my linesman, sorry about that. Um, disconnect that. I'm just gonna let it hang for right now. If I was hunting, I would daisy chain this, or you could leave it connected and stuff it down in your dump pouch, whatever you wanna do. You know, that's the beauty of saddle hunting. There's a gazillion ways to do stuff. So here we are, we're in single panel mode, just leaning back, you know, obviously it's kind of up here on my hip. So um, that's, you know, it feels like my butt's kind of hanging out, but this is a two panel saddle and I'm not deployed into that position yet. Um, the ropes, man, that adjusts super nice and super easy. I can let a bunch out if I want to. Um, if I want, I can adjust my, uh, I can adjust my bridge. Being am steel, it slides well. That's probably actually a really good bridge length right there. I like to keep my bridge kind of short. So you got, and I love the am steel, the way you can sit here and it slides. I've used other saddles that have just got like actual rope, like an optiplex or whatever, or oplex or whatever rope it is. And they just don't slide as slick. I really like that if you're going to roll and shoot. That's pretty cool. So obviously, you know, this is the two panel. So, you know, what's it like to deploy? Well, they've got these thumb hooks here. You literally just pull down and the magnets, you can feel them disconnect. And now all of a sudden it's down here. If I lift this dump pouch up, you can see it's down here. I probably got right now, probably a two inch or so gap it feels like between the bottom panel and the top panel. And I can actually run that down further if I want to. And then, you know, the beauty of that two panel is you've got all this different adjustment um, and it really feels good in this position. If I was gonna lengthen my tether a little bit and get leaned out a little bit more, you can actually bring this top, oh yeah, you pull that top panel right up into your lower back. And you got this right underneath the, the meat of your butt down here. You could go into like a sitting position if you wanted to. I don't have my knee pads on right now, so it wouldn't be the most comfortable to sit like this in shorts for very long. But yeah, very comfortable. You can actually bring this, if you wanted to, you could bring this way up your back, actually. That's incredibly comfortable. And I'm not, I'm not feeling really any pinch anywhere or anything, you know? And again, you know, the beauty of these two panel saddles is you can sit for a while with it supported. You could bring it up. If you got, just got tired of it and you just wanted to stand, um, you know, obviously with the magnets in this system right here, you can bring this thing all the way up and now it's completely out of the way and you're back into a single panel kind of setup. Pretty slick, very slick. Go back down, look at that. I like those thumb loops. I, I, I'm not used to the thumb loops, but that's gonna be a, a cool feature in this, in this saddle right here. That tether rope bites with that, uh, that Prusik. It bites pretty good. But man, you could like get around here for your shooting, if you were to shoot behind you, if you were gonna come around the tree and shoot at an animal, shoot all wherever you want. I didn't bite my uh, platform in very well before when I did this, so my platform's moving around a bit. Um, you got all this tether cord. You know, typically I'll, I'll run it through one of my uh, linesman loops or something, you know, just kind of kit it out of the way or you can wrap it up. There's a different thing, bunch of different things you can do, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, I kind of like this dump pouch. It's on the big side. I'm gonna try out the small one. Um, let's check out their gear hanger real quick here. I always keep my gear hanger in the bottom of my dump pouch, no matter, I've never tried this brand of one before. So, excuse me while I fumble around with it. You know, this is a, the thing about saddle hunting is you really need to practice ahead of time so that in the dark, or in the woods, you're not fumbling around with stuff. And you wanna be efficient as possible. So, there we go. And this tree isn't the biggest tree, but 
<coughs> sit here and cinch that down and now you got these adjustable hangers so let's say you want to hang your quiver for example you could take like an s beaner if you got like a paracord loop or something on your quiver and i would i'm a right uh, right-handed shooter so I hold my bow in my left hand so I want my bow hanging on this side so I typically put my quiver on the back side but you know obviously you can see here with with an s-beaner on these little loops you can hang a quiver there and you can slide these around pretty much wherever you want to uh, as far as hanging a bow goes um, you know there's all kinds of options out there I got I brought some options with me I'm gonna save this one for a second um, what these hero clips um, I saw a video that the Latitude guys did about the hero clips on them. So you could use a hero clip, <laughs> bark fell in my mouth, and you could hang your bow off of the hero clip, hang your cam off of it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of hero clips, but might do that. Seriously, my bark flew in my mouth. Um, I like these jaw bones. Uh, I don't know that it will necessarily work with this loop, but what you could do with the jaw bone is you could go behind the strap and pull it down. And there you go, that's, a, that's awesome. And then again, you got all these loops. You can position where you want. Like maybe I, this one I bring over here and I typically hunt with a 360 camera or a GoPro. And I can rig up a mount off of say this loop right here. And I've got some other loops right there. Um, on the tag end of this, there's a, a loop right here. And if I wanted to be in a, a self-filming guy, uh, I think that I could take an S-beaner here and I could probably clip into this and I could hang my pack off of that. And then it looks like, yeah, that's adjustable. So if I wanted it clear down out of the way, I could drop it way down. If I needed into it or getting ready to pack up and to go, I could bring it way up. Pretty handy. Um, that's kind of a slick setup right there. So yeah, so this is the Latitude Method 2 saddle. Um, the, again, I didn't pay for this. The guys didn't ask me to review it. I won all this when I won the film contest. I'll link uh, my winning film in the description here. Uh, but anyways, I want to thank the guys for Latitude for sponsoring uh, the film festival at the Mobile Hunter Expo. Uh, it was pretty cool of them. I know a lot of guys won some cool prizes, and that was just an awesome event. So, yeah, I you know I can't wait to actually use this saddle. You know, based on my initial uh, thoughts and review of it. So. Anyways, well, with that, deer seasons are right around the corner. So, as always, stay safe. Saddle hunting is probably the safest way to get up in a tree. Uh, so, as always, stay safe. God bless, and it's a new day in the outdoors.